Take two. <laughs> yeah. So we just recorded us leaving and we forgot to turn the well, somebody forgot somebody to turn the camera. Somebody forgot it. It was not me. Say bye, Oreo. Say bye. Yeah, because you know why? Because those those guys are gonna take them out, so we don't want to confuse them. Oh, that too. Oh, hold on, get this. Yeah, you feel I take it. Is he? I keep telling mommy I can make him a service dog, and he can come with us next year. Can you hold right? Right on you. Right on you. be a service dog. Because he's, be my, dog. he's my, he's um, my, what do you call him? Emotional support. Yep. For anxiety and stuff. Shit. <laughs> no, this shit. Oh, what the hell? Well, this stuff, because those guys are going to take him out the car. <sighs> Every time we leave. What? I don't have another uh -huh. shirt. <laughs> Okay. A whole week. minutes later. A whole week without the kids. It's gonna be so great. Oh, oh, oh! Wait a minute. How long were you guys standing there? Whatever. Say bye, Oreo. Hi guys. Get inside. Okay. Love you. We are leaving. Love you. Yay! That's our first vlog ever. We are headed for a week on Carnival Sunshine. And this is our third, right? Yep. This is our third time on the Sunshine. I think I can say for both of us that it's our favorite ship. But it's our first time by ourselves. Without the kids. Without the kids. <laughs> Actually, we haven't cruised by ourselves since... Five years ago. Yeah, like 2012 on the Ecstasy. Which was fun. So we always go with usually family. A few months ago we went with our friends. But this time it's just us. Next year we'll be on the breeze with like 25 other people for a big family friends cruise, which is gonna be great, but it's nice to get away with just us. So we're leaving St. Cloud now and heading to Port 25 Canaveral. minutes later, so I wanted to leave at 10. Oh, oh. oh shit. That's your backpack. Well, this time it's 10.25, so... That's what I said. We're just leaving the house and we'll see what time it takes to get there. So, we'll see you then. Liberty over there and there's a big ass royal ship that's gotta be one of the mega ships that thing's huge and that's probably a Disney ship right there isn't it? So so, we're almost there it took us longer than it should have because the GPS screwed us one of the turns. Oh, that is a ship. Oh, that's one of the big ones. See it? Oh, wow. In the back. That's big. So, yeah, so we're about 25 minutes later than we should, so. This exit is coming up. But we're almost there, so we'll uh, check back in with you. We are here. And this place is not very organized. Waiting to drop off our luggage, and there is the sunshine right there. And hopefully this won't take too much longer because I want to get on the ship. It's freaking time to go. And yay, we're next and we'll see you guys in a bit. 
So we just dropped off our luggage. Now we're going to the parking garage for the car. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Okay, now let's figure out where the hell we're going. We got everybody waiting in line, but hopefully we will not have to wait that long. Thank you. Parking is on the left. And that over there is the Liberty, and that right there is the Sunshine. Um, you see, then we should walk over there, I think, and walk out. Well, we should walk in the middle, you know, back to Well, no, the, I mean, I think there's a oh, way to walk. We'll find out. So I get, I don't know. This is the new terminal. There's the sunshine. Oh, the parking garage for the sunshine? Okay, down the stop sign and to your left. Okay, alright, thanks man. Yep. Stop sign to the left. Because when she did it, yeah, she when we saw that video. Way. Yeah, she was going this way, it just yeah, looked it confusing. Was, yeah, it is. Okay, I'll make the left. So this now is where we came in left. at. You can get on this lane yeah. too because that's the exit. It's just, it's just uh, there's all the. Wait for the workers. There. So we went. Okay, so I'm going right here. I hope. Alright, so. That was. See little, you guys later. That was a little more stressful than it <laughs> should have been. Alright, so we're here. Let's touch bit longer than expected. Not too organized today compared to compared to what we've done in the past, but we're here. We had to park in the top. So cannot record on the inside so we'll be turning off for now and we'll go back on when we're heading on. Alright, we are here. The priority boarding VIP is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You have your sign and sale cards out. And check out Sorry. what that card says. Oh. Sweet, Sweet guest. guest. And there's the sunshine. Heading in. Alright. Getting close. It's been some walking. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Hold on. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? She's ready to get off. Here we go. Oh. I'm up the hill. There we go. Yeah. No. Yep. So. Let's see. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Good. Fantastic. Good service. Good service. Okay. I'm fine. Thank you. We've been here three times, so it's gonna take a little. Oh, the Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff. It's decorated for Christmas already, so. Hello. 
Hey, their shirts. Check out their shirts behind me. Yeah. All right, so we're on. I just have to go to guest services and put money on our account and register for special needs muster station. And I'm getting yelled at. That's why I'm here. Cash. All right, now we're trying to find the room. Here, look. What's the number? Okay, see the problem is this time we're on the port side. We're not used to it. We're always on starboard. We've never had a port side room. What is it again? Seven one two. Thank you. Then where are you going? There ain't no 7182 here. We're, we gotta go forward. Forward's this way. Where's aft? Oh no, wait a minute. Forward is that way. Thank you. See, I'm all, see this, oh, see. This is the only suite that was left. And it was on port side. And I almost said no because of that. But I didn't want to be like a cruise snob. And be like, oh, I'm not gonna go on port side. So, we'll see how it is. It sucks because when we leave, we're not going to see uh, Jetty Park and all that, but we'll go somewhere else. Maybe. But. Are you ready? Yep. So this is our suite. Our first suite here, actually. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at oh yes. Nice. This is a suite, and it was definitely worth it. Hey, my water's here. All right, Whew. that was, that took a lot longer than it should have been. It's tw we're in the room now and it's 1242. We left the house, we left the house at 1025. We had to make a quick stop. The GPS screwed us up a little bit, but I guess it's not too bad. We're on before one, we're inside the room. And that's why you purchase faster to the fun because you get in your room before anybody else. All right, here, let's... Oh, it has a vanity area. I didn't know that. That's for me. Oh, okay. I don't put makeup on. All right, there's the bathroom. And a jacuzzi tub. I don't think two people's going to fit in there, but we'll damn sure try. Yep, real nice. And the important thing is our double balcony. I guess that pulls out to a... I don't know what a key... Uh, yeah, it might pull out to a... Oh yeah, babe. Oh shit, I almost fell. Alright. This is our double balcony, because if you just had a normal balcony, like we did, you wouldn't have this right here. You would just, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't have this, you just have this. So we have all this. So. We're just a uh, cruise tip, bring Clorox wipes. I think we used them all, didn't we? Most of them. We have one pack left. We yeah. brought oh, yeah, three. We got one pack. And you wipe every freaking thing down. Everything. So it took us about 10 minutes, but we, we got the room wiped down with Clorox everywhere, inside and outside. So that's set. The room is nice. This is our first suite on the sunshine, and I think it was worth it. There's a lot of space in here. It's it might be hard to tell, but yeah, it's uh, it seems pretty nice. But yeah, it's it's really spacious. A yeah, nice TV. The balcony's nice. Lots of room. You don't feel cramped. And even in the balcony room, it's still not huge. But this, you got a lot of space. You got a nice couch here to t to chill out on. Little table. Yes, I can get used to. It. <laughs> yeah. Now next year we have a grand suite, which is what like two room, two of these, yep. something like that. So that'll even be. But the problem is when you get a room like this, it's hard to go down. So we always get balconies. We started out with an interior room, which sucks. 
Then we went to... Well, no, we started out with an ocean view, which is, is all right. It's just a window. But when we got upgraded to a balcony once, we had a ocean view room reserved. Down the sunshine, as a matter of fact. And um, they called and upgraded us to a balcony for, like, what, $70? Something, something stupid, ridiculous. And ever since then, we cannot go back to anything below a balcony. And now we're in a suite. It's going to be hard to go back to anything not a suite. Even the check-in was nice. That was so fast. Yeah, it was so fast. It's even it's faster than Faster to the Fun. But we still have Faster to the Fun because we got into the room immediately. If you don't have Faster to the Fun, even if you have a suite, you have to wait till 1.30. And it's just 1 o'clock now, so we still would have had to wait to get into our room. So that's like 70 bucks, something like that, $69. It's well worth it. But the suite is nice so far. I'm pretty impressed. I was... We upgraded for practically nothing. The, the, this whole cruise was a steal overall. When I reserved it, and then like a couple months later, it went on sale, and I got $100 taken, 100 100 something taken off already. So it was already stupid cheap. So when they call it upgraded, because normally for a suite like this, for a week, you probably pay $2,500, $3,000 easy, or we're not even nowhere near that. Not even close. So... So I guess now we're going to head up on deck, get something to eat, and the walk around and find the secret deck, find the observation deck, because maybe that's where we'll, because when we leave, since we're not on the starboard side, we'd see the beach and Jetty Park and all the ships leaving. Shit, that's what I wanted to do, because there's a mega ship in port and I wanted to see it. So yeah, so I think we're going to have to go up on the observation deck to, when we sail away. It's going to turn purple. So. Yeah, so that's the plan, so we'll see you in a few. Uh, I remember this uh, because we had a we had a balcony right here. Right? See this is the problem people just stop in the middle. You wanna do it? Alright, we're on the deck. more kids than I like too. Well, not too many. This seems more of an older, middle-aged crowd. We're gonna get some burgers now. Guys burgers. Yep. Yo, come on. Guys burgers. Guys burgers. Hello, sir. Welcome on board. Hello. Thank you. I need this for you. Looking first and then... Okay, take a look. All right. There we go. We're just checking out the desserts. That's some mango mousse, caramel cheesecake, some chocolate thing. And we're in the Havana part. So we're gonna get some empanadas and some, what are the other things? Coconut something. Yeah. You see, that's one of the secrets of the sunshine. Lemonade? Yeah, please. Is you come to the, back. we're in the very back of the ship, obviously. But they have a taste bar right here. Where those two people are standing. And all day they'll have Cuban stuff. And it's a real good bar. But the problem is a lot of people don't come back here. Everywhere else right now is super jam-packed, but back here, not that many people. A lot of open tables. So this, in, uh, over there you can also get breakfast in the morning, and again, not everybody knows about this spot, so it's the place to come on the sunshine. So, 
we're just going to check out here and uh, enjoy some of that. Oh. And those are our sail away drinks. They are good. And about 10 bucks a piece. Cheers. Alright. So we're just back on the balcony. But something cool to show is right there. That's the VAB building at NASA. And the launch, it's hard to tell, it's kind of hazy out, but in the distance there is the launch pads. They launched the rockets and used to be the space shuttle. We used to come out here, camp and watch them, not too far. But if they sent the rocket up right now, it'd be really cool. But, you know, so there's the Liberty. We haven't been on that ship. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a good one or not. And let's see. There's the parking garage for the sunshine. We're parked there on top. Exciting. And not too many people heading coming on now. We saw a couple. But they're loading up all the food and all the goodies for us. All the crews coming back on. So, but it's actually a really nice day out. It's like about what, 73 degrees, which is kind of unusual because we always cruise about this time of year, and usually it's pretty, it's pretty hot. It's really usually real hot. Last year it was. Yeah, they like today. I wouldn't mind the mustard being outside. This yeah. year we're inside. Yeah, I got the special needs mustard. Because usually you have to stand outside for the mustard drill. And the last couple of times we did it, almost passed out because it's so hot. And they pack you in there about four or five rows of people, shoulder to shoulder. And you're sweating. Because like I said, last year this time it was hot, real hot. This whole month has been pretty, pretty mild for Florida. Really nice, actually. But this year I got the special needs mustard drill. So we just get to sit inside, but yeah, but today is a nice day. So it's about two o'clock now. Mustard drill is about three thirty. I think I said three thirty. Yeah. And then we leave about four ish right after that, something like that. So I think we're gonna go to the observation deck because we want to see if one of the Royal Mega ships is still there. So that should be we're on the port side. So. There's the bridge of the ship, and there's an observation deck that not, that's, again, that's something else a lot of people don't know about. That's our first time heading up there, so there should be very few people, because otherwise the decks are going to be packed with people when we, when we sail away. There's a submarine base. If there's a submarine there, that'd be cool. But, yeah. So we're just going to hang out until then. So, yeah. cool to see the over there. The what? See across, yeah, it's it's kind of a hazy day, but I mean that building is huge. And if a rocket went up right now or a space shuttle like it used to, man, it would just light up the sky. You'd feel it. I mean, you would literally feel it being this close. But yeah, so so yeah, we're just gonna hang out for a while and and uh, get ready to sail off soon.